crowded trains and long waiting times. These are some of the transport woes Singaporeans face during their daily commute. But all this will soon change. The Land Transport Authority has announced a series of measures to help ease overcrowding during peak hours. One of them is the upgrading of the train signaling system on the north-south and east-west lines. The upgrading program, which will start next year, will allow trains to run at intervals of 100 seconds at peak periods, compared with the existing intervals of 120 seconds. This means shorter waiting times for commuters and a 20% improvement to the existing capacity. Currently, MRT trains carry an average of 1,400 to 1,500 passengers during peak hours. But results can only be seen in six to eight years' time. Given, given that the push towards public transport has started about two years ago, could the signalling system upgrade have come earlier? Because uh, it's going to take another six years before the signalling system comes on board. Uh, I mean, of course, if you ask that question, it, it, it could have. Uh, but really, uh, everything is not just whether you want to do immediately. There are details to be actually uh, work out. You know, uh, so it, I mean, although we, when we actually mentioned for example this moment that we were we were start next year, but really we have been working on this in the past two years already. Given that the upgrading of the signaling system will take six years, you know, uh, it's quite a long time. Uh, are you all rolling out any like uh, initiatives? In between the six years, to alleviate congestion on most of these lines, such as parallel buses and all that. Well, I think the this is something that LTA is is always look is always looking at, uh, but uh, we also recognize that uh, parallel buses, uh, you know, why it works, but in terms of providing the capacity, it may not be uh, that effective. But it's something that we always work on. Uh, if you know. Uh, Uh, or there is demand. Uh, there's demand. Then certainly, uh, you know, we will work with the various operators to introduce them. In an earlier Straits Times report, eyebrows were raised when SMRT Chief Executive Officer and President Saul Pekwa commented that Singapore's MRT trains are still not at crush load capacity, meaning the trains are capable of holding more passengers than it's designed to carry, and it's a matter of choice whether commuters want to board the trains. This followed with angry comments from members of the public. LTA says the main task of upgrading the signaling system is to ensure trains run safely. The current system has been operational since 1987, and um, due to obsolescence of components and parts, as well as the need for improvements in the performance. Um, we will have to do the upgrading. The improvements will be that first you be allow you allow more trains to be injected into the system. Therefore, you will reduce the loading on the current system, and also in in uh, in addition, you actually reduce the waiting time for commuters at the platforms. At the National Day rally, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong announced that the government will be spending 60 billion dollars over the next 10 years to double the rail network. This includes expanding the MRT network with the Downtown Line, Eastern Region Line, and Thomson Line, and buying new trains to boost the capacity of Jurong East Station and the North East Line. In line with PM Lee's announcement, LTA says 22 additional trains will be ordered for the North South and East West lines. These trains will be progressively delivered by end 2011. For more on LTA's new measures, watch the next clip.